Hey there, it's Derek here from Pacific Coast Auto in Japan, and today we're looking at a Honda Acti Street. This one here is a rear wheel drive, not four wheel drive version. And the Street is the kind of consumer grade or personal vehicle grade of it compared to um, the van or cargo vehicle version. This one has just 20,000 original kilometers on it, and that appears to be authentic in this case, according to the seller, the auction, the history check, and all of that. A lot of K vans have five digit odometers. This one has a six digit. And so there's no chance of it rolling over there. Okay, just gonna switch the engine off here and we'll check out the condition of the vehicle. So this one was bought from auction for exports to Canada. A lot of these go into the USA, they're very popular there. Canada, you can import a 15 year old vehicle, US a 25 year old vehicle. This one's just about US legal. And these can be pretty hard to find, whether two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, and prices compared to the K-Trucks are a good amount more. They're very cool, useful, dual sliding door vehicles, lots of room inside for cargo or for people, and good fuel economy, of course. This is the auction inspection sheet. I'll go and uh, translate this for you really quick. There isn't very many marks on here because the condition is fairly good, but it does have some things, especially the exterior paint fade. So it's a 660cc engine, or like a 0.7, less than a liter. Okay, this is an auction grade 3, and I don't know why they gave it an auction grade 3. It seems to be in better condition than a 3 would, uh, than what you would think for a 3. Exterior C grade, interior C grade, automatic transmission in this. You can get them with a 5 speed. Okay, has AC and it does work, I've checked that. Power steering is really nice to have on these, most of them don't have it. All the van versions don't, only the street has that. And speaking of the street, it's the uh, power steering you get, power windows, and a few different body things, such as the cool little bumper bit uh, down there. The surrounds of the headlights are body color instead of black. You get the little side step over there. We got a Civic going to run me over. Yoinks! It's not a Civic, it's a shuttle, which is an extended fit. You get different fabrics on the inside, more comfortable seat here. You get a center console there. The power windows are kind of fun because it's just like this little box that has been installed in it. Different door cards, a few things here and there like that. Let's see about the keys up here for now so it doesn't beep at us the next time. And check this out. This is like a kid in a candy store when you have a set of tapes like that. All the tapes you can go through and listen to and your Honda Acti Street. Okay, back to this. So the report section, the seller didn't write anything for sales points or notes, but the report section says interior is dirty, body has paint fade, okay? Wheel covers scratched, bed section has a modification, and I'm not sure what the modification is for, but it looks like some sort of a like, uh, hook to, to secure on something. And then it says that power windows have been installed after the fact, and yes, these vans come off the assembly line as a regular van and then certain parts are put back onto it later including power windows okay so uh, yeah the body has a few dents and stuff here I'll show you when we do the once around here so you can see on the top the paint is all peeling maybe you can see it maybe you can't there we go and the whole top is like that the rest of the vehicle is uh, paint wise okay this left side is pretty good the right side is faded I quite like the side decals on it, but uh, something like this would really... Dozo! This little boy waiting to go by, so I'll point at my shoes. Here's my shoes! I can't remember what I... Oh! Yeah! A white roof on these would look great. With like a flat body color, like a non-reflective red, or green, or blue, white roof. Yeah. That would be great. And if it was mine, that's what I would do with it. Mike, who is six foot four, says he fits in this, which is a surprise to me because I find K vans to be a little bit on the tight side, but I'm also not a big person, so I don't know exactly what it's like to be a big person. I'm just 5'10 or 178 centimeters. He's like 193 or 194. So if you're that tall, then you can give one of these a go. I think that would be maybe one of your biggest concerns for this is, am I too big for such a small vehicle? And yeah, it's tiny. Like width-wise, it's only like 150 centimeters. And so, also they turn really sharply. Very cool. Okay, 
So up close with it, you can see the front end here doesn't have very many rock chips on it. This is an original bumper with the original metal underbar. The badge there has some chrome peeling on it. So does the bumper down here. Uh, license plate is offset. You can see this little cutout section here for where the license plate goes. It's not in the center. Kind of gives it a Japanese K-Van look. And then both bumper corners have little nicks and things where you can make out the blackness underneath of the urethane bumper. So some pretty big scratches right here. Okay. There's some tape marks here as well as a bunch of little uh, or like touch-up paint along the edge there. Both sliding doors function properly. There's also bricks inside. I don't know why, but there are two of them. Here's another one. Oh, and these seats, I'll come back uh, to the interior later, but I will say now, these seats are cool because they completely stow in the floor. This section here goes down, and then the whole thing, like, goes, uh, goes like this, yoop, and then makes a completely flat floor between the trunk and the back here. Very cool. And, would be big enough to sleep if you don't mind having your knees in a little bit. You can put a bed in there really easily. Super cool. Okay, now uh, the roof has this gunk in here. It looks like it's been sitting underneath a tree or something for a while, and so it really needs a good cleaning. Okay, so the back of bumper has uh, paint marks. You can see a lot of little scratches and things. When you load stuff in and out of the vehicle, it's very easy to set it on there, and then it kind of slides its way off as you pull it out, and so you can damage the paint there pretty easily. Also has that chrome under bumper piece. Cool. And a reverse mirror. So what this does is you look in the rear view mirror there and then you look at this and then it shows you the straight down position of your back bumper. Makes it really easy to see when you're going to back into a wall or something. And with a small vehicle like this in most countries it's nothing that you have to worry about. But here in Japan it's very tight and uh, it's very helpful to have something like that. So a big dent there, and here, and here. That's going to need to be repaired. Other than that, this side is faded paint on it. Has faded paint on it. Let's see if I can speak English. Okay, it's probably having issues focusing. It doesn't know what to focus on. Sorry, little camera. Don't mean to make you work too hard. Okay, so going into the trunk, let's do that first. Kakuman. I don't know what a kakuman is. <laughs> that sounded way weirder than I thought it would. This last time I say kakuman. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's going to become a thing. Okay, so the uh, loading area there is probably about 55 to 60 centimeters from the ground. There's the loading device that I'm talking about right here. I'm not sure what that is, but as you can see, it looks like some sort of way to secure something into the back. But there's only one of them, and it's definitely aftermarket. So, do not know. This rack up here is pretty cool. It's an official Honda unit, has an umbrella in it and some tire chains. That's not a tire chain, that's like the uh, triangle. And uh, super bad jumper cables. Blech. Okay. There is this. Oh, neat. It's a uh, window shade. This part here goes up here, and uh, it's like Velcro, but the glue has come off. You can use that as a window shade. Interesting. Okay, that's about everything for the trunk here. Now we got a little bit of surface rust coming in up here. But there's no corrosion, it's just, just the beginnings. Okay, close the door. And we'll go into the sliding door. Konnichiwa. The doggy likes us. <laughs> Kawaii. 
あ、問題ないです。ないですか<笑>リュウちゃん何見てんの<笑>、ね、はい。倍だって。リュウちゃん。まだ急に。何で見てんの<笑><笑> ?OK, so the interior seat's here. This is a、uh, flip down. Now I can't store it underneath with the headrest in here. So I can't show you how that works, but you can see the mechanism here that just comes straight forward. Actually, it might even work with the headrest in there.、Uh, how do you decouple? That's my biggest problem in life. Maybe not my biggest problem in life. Ah, here we go. Yes, you can. And there's a plastic bag. So even with the headrests on there, it flops into place. And then, so cool. All right, close the door. And you get a ton of headroom in these. A ton. Like, there's a full 30 centimeters or 12 inches over my head when I'm sitting in it. Here's a seat that Mike can fit in. If you have a mic. Okay. Floor mats are in generally good condition. There is a little bit of a tear here, and then they are dirty. Seats are, are quite nice for K van seats. Got cup holders. Look at that. Center console. It is a K van, so you do get kind of a lower grade interior parts because they needed to keep the price down for these. But AC, good mileage, cool looks. It is a Honda. A set of wheels and a paint job would make this thing so cool. And a roof rack. Roof carriers are awesome. Okay, that's about all for this one. So let me know what you think in the comments section if you want to. Or if you're the owner of this, just let me know what you think. <laughs> in an email. There we have it. Honda Acti Street. Going to Canada. Sweet. Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone, and have a nice day.